Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I want to talk about my personal 10 favorite features about 1Password. 1Password is a password manager I've been using for about five, six years now, I would say. Uh, not just for passwords, but for all sorts of private information, which I will be talking about. And today I wanted to highlight just 10 of my favorite features that I think make this a, a really good app to use on your computer and on your phone. Now, if you do want to learn more about how I use tools like this uh, to be more productive and more organized, then check out the link for my personal productivity toolkit linked below, uh, where you can learn how to create a system for being more efficient and more organized in your life or in your work and whatever it is that you do. So the first thing I really like about 1Password is that it's actually not just for passwords. I mean, that is its primary use, is it's where I can store my login details for all of the different accounts that I use in my personal life and in my business as well. But it's I, I think of it as more than just a password manager. I think of it as basically a digital safe. So I can use it to store things like credit card information, bank account details. I can store notes. If I go down the categories here, I can put documents in here, driver's licenses, passports, social security numbers, even software licenses and things. So it's basically my digital safe for all of the important information that I might need. And I would say from what I've seen with 1Password users, typically people start off using it purely for uh, the the login information that they need to store, which is great. But I would definitely recommend spending some time going through these categories and just doing a bit of a self audit of your life and all of your information and thinking about, well, yeah, do I have any software licenses I need to put in here? What about, you know, um, login information for different wireless routers? Can I store that in here? Let's get things like my passport details in here. And this is a really worthwhile exercise to do because you never know when you might need access to some of this information. Uh, I've definitely been filling out forms and I need to reference my passport number and so I can just pull out my phone and I have all of that important information ready to go. It also means I can centralize all of the sensitive information in one place. I don't have to use Dropbox or Google Drive or Notes or all these different apps for collecting and storing information, some of which might be connected to third parties as well. And you never know, like if you've got Dropbox connected to a third party, do they maybe have access to some of these important documents and information about your life? Well, if you store it in one password, it's all encrypted. Uh, people, you know, nobody can get access to this. I don't have this connected to third party tools and so everything is is really secure. The other feature I really like about 1Password is that it can suggest really strong, unique passwords when you are creating a new account on a, a certain website. So for example, here I am on Zapier. Uh, I'm creating an account for the first time. Now, if I actually do already have an account, 1Password will suggest passwords that I might want to use to log in, which is great. Or if I'm creating a brand new account, you can see here it's actually suggesting a really long uh, kind of cryptic password for me. It's kind of a gibberish um, string of letters and numbers and different special characters. And so I can just use that really strong password. I don't have to remember it because it's stored in my one password. And then the next time I come to this site to log in, it's remembered that and I've got a brand new unique password for every single website that I'm signed up to. And so this means that if one website gets compromised and the login information of this service gets leaked online, then it's only that one password password there that is compromised, I only need to change that one login. I don't have to go changing logins for my email and my bank. And that is the risk that you run if you share and use the same password on a bunch of different services that you use. So that's one of the key benefits I really get out of this tool is having that extra security of be, having really strong, unique passwords for every service that I'm signed up for. Another feature that I really like is that it can actually store one-time passwords for you as well. So these are the usually six digit numbers that you have to input as well as your password. And some services can text that to you, but that's actually not the most secure way of sending that number to you because that is, um, if your SIM card in your phone gets SIM swapped by a hacker where they get access to your phone number, they can actually access and get those um, six digit codes sent to them instead. Now having that stored in one password is more secure, but also it's just quicker. So here I am, I'm logging into Zapier. I can choose the um, login details and 1Password is automatically going to fill in my one-time password for me as well. So here we go, it's filled in this number 544690. That number resets, it changes every 30 seconds. And so I can just click, click, click confirm and I can now log in. I don't have to sit here waiting for an SMS message to come through. 
And actually, I just demonstrated my fourth favorite feature of 1Password, which is that it's very quick to sign in to different services. Uh, we've all been there before when, you know, I definitely used to years ago have one password that I reused on a number of different websites, or I had a, a couple of passwords that were sort of close variations of one another with a capital letter or a number at the end that I reused on a bunch of services. Sometimes I'd forget, I'd have to reset my password. It takes a lot of time just remembering which password that you've used. I actually find re regardless of all the security benefits that you get with 1Password, it actually just makes logging into different services a lot quicker. Uh, like I said, I can just click the password, and log in. I don't have to go typing it out. I don't have to remember which one that I've used. Um, I don't have to reset my password. I haven't actually gone through a password reset in a long time, um, purely for this reason. And because I store a lot of my client passwords in one password as well, I don't have to have them stored in some extra note or document somewhere. I can keep all of those client passwords in my account as well. My fifth favorite feature is that um, 1Password has been really well designed for the Mac and iOS platforms, and it really takes advantage of a lot of the different security features that come uh, with Apple devices. So I can either type in my master password here to unlock my account, or if I want to, I could unlock with my fingerprint, and so I can use the Touch ID on my computer to unlock the password, or if I lock again, uh, recently 1Password updated their service to work with the Apple Watch. So I can uh, unlock, and now my watch is asking me to confirm. I can double click to confirm, and it's gonna unlock my account for me. This also works really well in the browser as well. So here I am at a uh, credentials field. I need to unlock 1Password. It asks me to confirm on my watch. I can double click and now 1Password is open and ready to go because my watch has already been authenticated by me. So I can use my watch, I can use Touch ID, and if I'm on the phone, it can, I can even use Face ID to really quickly log in. And so not only, again, is it making 1Password really secure, it's using the biosecurity features of Apple's devices, but it also, again, like my previous point, makes it very quick to log in as well. Another feature that I really like in 1Password is the Watchtower. Watchtower is kind of this 1Password's uh, ability to warn you about any websites that you may have accounts for that have been compromised, maybe where there was a hack or a data breach and the login information for that service is now leaked online. 1Password um, can actually notify you of data breaches like that so you can then go and reset those passwords. So there we go, compromised websites. It can also tell you if you have vulnerable passwords, if you've reused passwords in certain spaces, and actually I've got a lot of client accounts in here, so um, uh, hence why I've got some duplicate passwords here. Some of my clients do not follow good password etiquette. Uh, if you have weak passwords that are too short, too simple, it will highlight those. If you are logging into an unsecure, uh, unsecured website, or if you have not yet enabled two-factor authentication for a website, it can highlight all of these things for you. And actually, it's even got a section for um, any accounts or services that you have that are expiring, things like credit cards or passports that are expiring soon, it can even warn you about those. So the Watchtower is kind of like the 1Password assistant that just warns you about potential breaches or how you could be more secure with your login details. The seventh feature I really like is that you can set up different vaults. So I've got vaults for all of my personal passwords, uh, where I store my client passwords, passwords for my business, a shared vault with my wife and my assistant as well. So it really makes sharing passwords with the people in my life uh, very easy or um, just organizing passwords into different categories. And so I can log into my 1Password account online. I can control exactly who has access to these different vaults if I need to collaborate and share those passwords with my colleagues or, or specific people. The eighth feature that I really like is the ability to actually recover my account as well. Because I have a 1Password for families account, I can share access with my wife and share passwords uh, between the two of us. And it's really nice knowing that if I lose access to my account, even if I uh, forget my password, my wife can actually log into our shared 1Password account and she can actually recover my account for me. Because that's always been a concern with a service like this is, you know, it really is a vault. And if you lose the key, if you forget your password or if you lose access, everything important to me, all my passwords, lots of important information is now actually gone. And 1Password cannot recover that for you. The service cannot recover it. That's part of their security. Uh, but I have my wife who is a, a user in my account and she could actually begin that recovery process for me. And so it's really nice knowing there's kind of like this, uh, I want to use the word like backdoor. She can kind of get me back in if I were to lose access for some reason. 
Another feature that I really like is just how well it works across all your devices. That's kind of something you would expect in this day and age is that this syncs with, you know, your, uh, my, my Mac and my phone really well, but I really don't want to understate that the sync is incredibly fast. I can put a password in on my Mac and immediately it becomes available on my phone. I don't have to sit there and pull to refresh and wait for two minutes. Uh, and so if I've set up a one-time password on my phone, I now need that accessible on my Mac. That sync is very fast. Uh, and so I've just been super impressed by that and um, really don't want to understate how, how good the sync is across different devices. And the final feature I want to call out is just how secure 1Password really is. Uh, firstly, not only do I need my 1Password to get in, you actually need, I think it's a 24-digit secret key as well. So even if I told you my 1Password now, you would not be able to log in on a brand new device without my secret key. So it has multiple layers of security. Uh, it can also protect you against phishing because it will recognize the websites that you've logged into previously. And so if I were to accidentally click on a phishing link where a hacker is asking me to input my password, 1Password is is not going to suggest that password. It's actually going to warn me about that website. I can even secure my 1Password with a hardware key if I want. So if I want to sign into 1Password on a brand new device, I would I could choose to authenticate with a hardware key, just giving myself an extra layer of security. And 1Password never saves your passwords to a clipboard. So I do use a clipboard manager uh, to copy bits of text around, but 1Password will not allow passwords and usernames and things to be stored in a clipboard manager. So as I'm using other productivity tools, um, you know, there's no way for them to accidentally store passwords where they could, could potentially um, you know, become vulnerable. And so there you have it. Those are the 10, my 10 favorite features when it comes to 1Password. Like I said, I've been using this tool for about six years now and uh, I highly recommend it. If you're not using a password manager at the moment, I highly recommend having a look at 1Password for securing not just your passwords, but everything to do with your, your personal or your professional life. It really is nice knowing that I can go out there into the online world, uh, knowing that I have 1Password watching my back and I am protected. If you have any questions or comments or feedback, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.